Uh, my name is Jorge Benitez and I am a Spanish architect living in Hong Kong and I am the co-founder of Enzyme APD. So Enzyme APD was founded in um, 2015 in Hong Kong and uh, we are a international design firm. Uh, we work in architectural projects, interior design, urban planning and sustainable design as well. Uh, we are very focused on technology and how technology can improve the way that we create our projects. We have been thinking about this metaverse and this digital world for a very long time. We had like a group of architects interested in all these digital technologies here in Hong Kong and we were always discussing these opportunities about uh, creating digital architecture that will never be built, it will be used in the digital world. And at some point last year we were approached by Stelsi and we became so excited about the opportunity of share some of these uh, past work that we have created that uh, was never built. I think Stelsi is doing a great effort for developing a beautiful and, and well-rounded platform. But specifically for, for Stelsi, I, what I'm expecting is this exploration between the digital assets, uh, the physical world, and also some blockchain technology. So this is one uh, particular interest of mine to understand how can we combine uh, the blockchain platform with all these digital assets. I think Stelsi is basically working on, on that, the creation of NFTs um, that interact in different ways with the users. The Three Well Conversion Center is actually a project that was developed specifically for Stelsi. Um, it was inspired in a previous project that um, we collaborated with the Japanese contractor and architect Takenaka. So we created this beautiful museum of the world in, in Seoul, in Korea, uh, for a competition. And we actually took that project as a starting point and we developed it in a way that it will make more sense for the metaverse. So what we have created there, or we have tried to create there, it's a space for people to interact digitally. So we have created this beautiful uh, outdoor environment, almost like a plaza, and these three shapes, these three wheels uh, that will be become some kind of um, a reunion place or, or a gathering place for people that, are, that want to trade, that want to discuss, uh, and then want to interact with, with other people in, the, in, the, in this metaverse. So Villa Patio is one of our first projects. So it was designed for a family in uh, Indonesia, in Bandung, and it had this specific uh, shape of a patio uh, inspired in the European Mediterranean architecture of the patios. In this case, the idea is to bring the family life in the inner courtyard. Um, we're doing this because uh, the, the outer road the house is facing into, it's a very busy road, so cars and noise and, and so on. So we are creating this facade that is acting as a filter, filter for the noise, for the light, and, and filtered into this courtyard. So the idea is that we are creating a very peaceful environment inside. The life of the family is made towards the courtyard, so the family with the children can play there and can make use of this beautiful and protected environment. Unfortunately, uh, the, um, the project was, wasn't built. Uh, it was an unfortunate situation that happened with uh, the father of, of, of the owner uh, passed away. So the project got cancelled. And I think it's a wonderful um, thing that you can give a second life to a project. So in, this, in the architectural offices, we work on so many projects that are not built at the end so many ideas, so many uh, thoughts and so much work put into one project that at the end it might not be selected or it might not be built for any reason. Well, I thank uh, Stelsi for the opportunity of giving a second life to this project. And uh, yes, and I think there is, we were discussing about the opportunities and market before, so I think this is also a great opportunity for architects to, to actually make use of all these ideas into into the Stelzi platform. I think that basically architects have to take a lead role 
in this new digital world that we are living in. Architects should take all this knowledge that we have and basically apply to create these beautifully designed spaces for people to live in the digital world and to experience a happy life in this digital world. Our children and, and, and people just spend so much time in front of the computer in, in video games and, and we have to take this opportunity to educate them and to help them as well to, to be happy and also to, to show them how to behave not only the digital, but also in the real world. We have to remember, I think, in my opinion, that the real life is actually outside the computer. So somehow we need to help people to don't get completely detached from reality. So help them to, to live happily, both in the digital realm and the physical realm. You can see that we are making use of the technology in many different aspects of our lives mainly the ones that involve payments or involve some kind of identification process they need to be revised nowadays we live in in a world where you have so many passwords so many different uh, ways to access different platforms that it's impossible to keep track i am really looking forward to see how the um, the blockchain technology comes and, and revolutionize all of this. So having some kind of digital identity that can be uh, maybe an NFT of yourself. Welcome to Stelsi. Hola.